When Tropical Storm Ketsan or Undoy hit Pasig City in 2009, flood water submerged thousands of homes in the city. In Barangay Santolan alone, home to 7% of Pasig's population, around 30,000 residents were affected. David Luzada reports that served as a wake-up call for the city. Romeo Vasquez patrols the Pasig River and its communities. The chief of Pasig City's fireboat unit says his team is always ready to respond to disasters in the river. Ano namin dito, trabaho namin, is drowning incident kami ang nagre-respondi. Mga kailangan respondihan sa tabing ilog kami ang tumatakbo. Lalalo na yung mga sunog sa mga tabing ilog from Pasig to Manila. Kami lang ang bumbirong hindi naubusan ng tubig. Kasi nga po, eh, kami ang, ang tubig po namin ay yung ilog Pasig. Vasquez says he will never forget Ketsana or Ondoy in 2009. So, palibas sa yung kami lang may fireboat dito sa Pasig, sa buong Metro Manila, kami ang nakapag-respondi doon sa mga kailangan punta ng mga bahay, ng mga nasisira. At kami rin yung dumadapot ng mga patay noong panahon ng Ondoy. Actually, noong panahon ng Ondoy, Araw-araw kami dumadampot. Halos dalawang linggo yun na may dinadampot kami patay. Ondoy was a wake-up call for Pasig City. The typhoon submerged many communities, both rich and poor, in flood waters. The city started to improve its disaster mitigation, response plans, and equipment in the flood's aftermath. In 2010, Pasig built its city command center to centralize response to incidents. The local government installed over 220 CCTV cameras and weather gauging sensors. The city also built a training center. The city can now respond to calls for help within minutes. Usually, yung tawag dapat magstay lang yun almost one minute. Eh. Ganun kabilis. Lalo't kung na a matter of life and death yun. Kailangan within one minute you get all the data and you transmit it immediately sa, dispatch, sa dispatcher para yung dispatcher makapagpadala ng tulong. Pasig a lot some 5% of its annual budget to reducing the risk and mitigating the impact of disasters. In 2013, the city spent 244 million pesos or $5.56 million on disaster preparedness. But Pasig DRRM Chief Richie Van Angeles says a big budget is not a prerequisite to being prepared. Importante magkaroon mo ng knowledge eh kahit wala pang kasunod yung mga gamit. Uh, maraming ways. If, if, kung gusto mo talaga, maraming paraan para ma-conduct mo yung, ano, yung mga ganitong klaseng seminars or training programs. There are lessons to be learned in every calamity. The key is good planning, training, networking, and communication. Pasig City shows, with political will, a city can be resilient, even if a river runs through it. David Lozada, Rappler, Pasig City.